Hi, I'm Lulu and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. So it's, it's lunchtime and I just pulled over to make my lunch. I thought we'd have a little chit chat about what I've been up to for the past couple of days. So let me get out my container and my scale. This morning in Cracker Bell parking lot, I cooked a bunch of chicken with that yummy, yummy new spice that I love. So that's all set. That was kind of cooling off a little bit. Okay. So I decided I'm today I'm gonna to have like a chopped salad, which is um, not leafy and fluffy, but more kind of chopped up stuff. So here I go. I'm gonna give this cucumber a wash. These wipes that I get are like water only. I like that. So I finished off Pennsylvania and I made it into Virginia. It was a, a lovely drive, um, Route 81. Uh, it's all through the mountains. I went through the Shenandoah Valley. Um, picturesque, very picturesque um, scenery. Very, very nice. Um, I have to say, like, you know, some have said that it's just, like, incredible. Like, it's, an, it's, it's amazing, the, the, the views down 81. And um, uh, although I will agree that it's very picturesque and very pretty, um, nothing really blew my mind, probably because I'm from New England. And we have mountains, we have mountains everywhere. <laughs> so um, it's not like the mountains were like, wow. Um, so far in my, so far in my seven years of van life travel, twice, my mind was blown. One time that was near Brookfield, Missouri. And another time was in Jerome, Arizona. Those two places blew my mind. I have videos on uh, just telling the story of my experience. I, don't, I didn't get them on film. I'm just not a travel vlogger. I'm just not a travel vlogger. Uh, you kind of won't see the stuff I see because I just don't do that, you know? It's just not my thing. Um, although Purple Renee, that's her thing. She loves to, um, she's more of like a travel vlogger and she visits really interesting places and, and films it and, um, and she'll show you scenery and all that so go check out her channel my friend purple renee she's at french blonde travels that's the name of her channel so go check her out she's taking this drive from new york to texas just like i'm taking this drive from massachusetts to texas so if you want to see like everything that i've seen probably be on her channel <laughs> maybe i don't know i don't know what she's been filming but i look forward to seeing her soon So I'm going to just use, I'm not going to use any lettuce, I'm going to use my uh, coleslaw. So guess what happened while I was in Virginia? My friend Laura caught up with me and here we were coming through. She left a few days after me, but I've been just taking it really slow. So she kind of caught up with me. So. She pulled in right where I was, and I was like, hey, it's good to see you. Oh, my God. It was just, oh, it was just, it was just so great to see her.
so we decided to hang out for a couple of days and um, we hunkered down in Christiansburg, Virginia. Nice little town. So we stayed at the Cracker Barrel, really nice Cracker Barrel. It was like an RV park. I mean, there were huge RVs everywhere and there were people out in their chairs and it was like, it was like an RV park. It was amazing. Um, it was in a great location. It was all off to the side and kind of private. And um, so we slept in that parking lot. And the next day we found a nearby city park. We found Mid-County Park in Christiansburg, Virginia. And a uh, beautiful park. We, we practically had the whole thing to ourselves. We just hung out at the park in our chairs and we just yacked and it was just it was so nice to be together because I've been, you know, I've been on this trip alone for a while and, um, and you, you know I don't mind that at all, but it was a nice change of pace. So, um, so uh, another thing happened in Virginia when I entered Virginia. You ready for this? I remembered that I had cruise control. I forgot that I, the whole trip, I forgot that I had cruise control installed. You know, I tell you, I'm a prize. I'm a prize to be bestowed. Okay, let's see. We got some cabbage and we got some cukes and we got some carrots and we got some onion. So I used my cruise control all through Virginia. It was lovely to have. Unbelievable. God bless me. I always say, God bless me. God bless me. I got a couple of radish. Oh, wait a minute. First, I'm going to put in my nori. Got to get that, got to get that mixed in so it gets nice and soft and chewy. I love it. I love it so much. So, while I was at that Mid-County Park in Christensen, Virginia, uh, I, had my, I had a session with Sasha, my trainer. Um, it was pretty exciting because um, two things. First of all, I asked her if she could create a, now I'll get some tomatoes, I asked her if she could adapt all the any exercises that I do on the mat, I asked her if, this, if there was a variation of that same exercise that I could do standing up. Because I thought to myself, I want my workout to be all standing up. I would like to not have a mat. It would just be more practical on the road, I think. Um, having to have set up a mat somewhere and like even like in a parking lot. But to just to, like to stand next to my van and just do some exercises is like no big deal, but like it seems like setting up the mat just seems like it it's just complicates it a little bit. I don't know. It just feels that way. So um so we went through all my exercises that were uh that were on the mat and she just gave me a variation of each one. So now I have like kind of a whole new workout with all different exercises now so that kind of shakes it up too and I don't need my mat so that's kind of cool and I'll tell you the other thing that's like really really cool I was really noticing um, my progress when I was working out yesterday with her I really noticed it
I really noticed my progress. Um, I felt really strong. Um, I felt my balance improved. I feel, and, and she noticed a couple of things. That I wasn't sharing with her that I was feeling like the progress, but she mentioned twice during my workout, she was just like, I'm noticing this about, you know, when I was doing a certain exercise, I'm noticing this about you. And uh, I was like, yeah, I kind of noticed it too. And then she's like, you know, I think your quads are getting stronger because I'm noticing when you do this, it looks like it's easier. And I'm like, I noticed it too. And also, um, there's an exercise I do that I go like against the van or against a tree and I squat all I, really low. Um, and then I have a band uh, around my knees that I, 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 I push out the band, the elastic band, and I hold that position. And so I've been gradually increasing the amount of time I can do that. Um, it's hard at the end of it. It's like it's it's like my legs are on fire, but I hold out and while she's timing. Um, so I'm up to a minute. I'm up to a minute now. And I asked her. I said, "Do you have my records when you did my assessment when we first met? How long I could hold that?" So she went and looked at her records. Ten seconds. Ten seconds I could hold that, and then I fatigued. Um, so I've over this past month. She's been, you know, making it 20 seconds, then 30, then 40, then 50, like over, over a week's time. And she doesn't even tell me what she's going to, she kind of springs it on me. Like, she'll be like, oh, you just did a minute. I was like, I thought we were doing 50 seconds. You made me suffer for those 10 seconds. But that's the whole point, you know, to have somebody that pushes you a little bit. So um, she was like, she says, that seems, that seems like really great progress for only like a month. We've probably been doing this for about a month. Um, so I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful that I found her. I'm really grateful that um, uh, that I'm. I feel like I'm committed to it. I feel like I'm asking for what I need, um, and she's able to conform to what I need. Uh, she's conformed my whole workout to. It, it's it's able to be done at home, and it's able to be done on the road. And now that I'm on the road, I'm thinking I wouldn't want the I don't want the mat anymore. And so now she adapted it for that. So she's, she just works with me. You know, I really like that. White pepper. Pink salt. See, so your salad can just be this big, which is very, it's not, it doesn't look very big. That's because there's no lettuce in it. The lettuce takes up a lot of space. It doesn't weigh very much. So that's what I call like a chopped salad. So let's see what else we got here. I'm going to put on some, some Japanese white sweet potatoes. You know, that's my favorite thing in the world. My favorite thing. So um, after my workout, right in Christianburg, Virginia, was a Planet Fitness. So I went over to Planet Fitness and had a much needed shower. I hadn't had a shower since I left the house on Tuesday. Now I know from Tuesday to Sunday is a long time to go without a shower. And you're probably like, ew, but that's okay. I didn't stink. After five days, I really wanted a shower. I wanted that fresh, sudsy, hot water feeling you know so it was a great shower um, really good water pressure it was clean and I just oh the just the suds everywhere and the hot soapy water just wonderful loved it then I went to Kroger grocery store that was also right there in Christiansburg Virginia And I got a few groceries. Laura stayed at the park while I was doing all this stuff. Then we decided that we were going to meet back at that Cracker Barrel in Christiansburg, Virginia. And right across the street from um, that Cracker Barrel 
was a gas station that had a water spout. How did I find that? Found it on um, Iovalanda. I, on Iovalanda, not only can you find places to sleep, but you can find water sources. So I have that turned on. I have that turned on as part of as part of my search. So right there at Cracker Barrel, it showed like it showed showed like a little building, which means it was uh, Cracker Barrel, a place to sleep. But then, right next to it, I saw the little picture of the the water spout with a drop coming out of it, and I was like, oh, that means there's water there. So it said Shell gas station. I opened it up, and the comments on it said. Uh, look to the side of the building and where the air is, the air for the tires, uh, and that's where the water is. I pulled right in. I see this big sign on the side of the building, water and air. There's the air, there's the water spout. Um, all my water goes through the Berkey, so I don't have to worry too much about the quality of that water because it goes through my Berkey. I'm confident that my Berkey takes care of everything. So I filled up all my bag, my three bags and my two gallons, filled everything up, got everything filled up. Well, that was great. And, um, and then we had a nice night at Cracker Barrel and uh, it's really cool, kind of like we, we, uh, we pull in and I open my side door and she opens her side door and we're parked next to each other so we have about three feet between us and we just talk away. In the morning, I open it up, she opens up hers and she's doing her coffee and breakfast, I'm doing my breakfast. And um, and we're just we're just chatting right through our right through our doors. It was very cool. Okay, so now we got the chicken. I got one little tiny piece of chicken left over from the last batch. Then I got all this new chicken. So let me just. Put in what I need here. Got this nice, this nice seasoning that I love so much. So now we've parted ways just for a couple of days. Um, she's going to visit a friend in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, we both have to go through Knoxville, Tennessee to get to our destination, which is um, the Texas Beaches. And so I'll just get myself down to the Knoxville area and she'll be at her friend's, at her friend's driveway. And there's Cracker Barrels around there and there's Whole Foods around there. So while she's visiting with her friend, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and stock up. Um, the grocery store I went to yesterday, I just got a couple of things um, and I'll, I'll, I'll restock um, the cooler at Whole Foods. Um, and there's a Cracker Barrel there and that's where I'll sleep. So the next morning after she, when she leaves her friends, We'll just figure out where each other is. I mean, I'll either be, maybe I won't make it all the way to Knoxville. Maybe I'll make it past Knoxville. Um, but at some point we'll just meet up again and we'll continue. And we thought we'd be in Alabama. Um, that would be the next state we'll be in is Alabama. We thought about maybe finding a county park like we did in Virginia and maybe just kind of hang out for a couple days. Cause you know, we have time, um, we have time. The weather's been absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous. This morning um, in Cracker Barrel, we had a tiny bit of rain, but it just barely drizzled and it was, it's, it was over with. So um, really it hasn't been much rain at all. Really no rain since I left the house. It's just been sunny and beautiful and I'm so grateful. So grateful.
So I pulled over here in this rest stop. It's a rest area on uh, 81. I'm in, uh, still in Virginia. I think I'm about 45 miles to the Tennessee border. Um, so I was just here getting my stuff together and just stretching and having a rest. Who comes walking up to my van? Laura. She stopped at the same rest stop. <laughs> She's like, I saw you over here. I was like, what? So I guess we both needed a break at the same time. So that's how that worked out. So I think I'm going to, what time is it? So it's, it's almost noon, which is when I have lunch. And I'm going to enjoy my delicious lunch. Look at this. How good does that look? Chicken, sweet potato, cold sweet potato. You know, I decided that I like Japanese white sweet potato cooked cold better than I like it hot. I just love the cold sweet potato. It's just delish, in my opinion. So once I end up getting a, little, a bunch of little bags of stuff, I like to put everything in a big bag. So there's the radish, here's the cabbage, here's the um, onion, here's the carrots, and then I just take out one big bag out of the, out of the fridge. You know, kind of cool. Kind of a good idea. Kind of a good idea. So I got to put this stuff back in the, in the, in the cooler and I got to do my dishes and I got some cooking to do later too. I needed to cook four things today. I needed to cook some chicken. I need to cook Japanese white sweet potatoes. I need to cook, uh, I got two bags of baby carrots that I want to cook and I want to cook uh, a, some of those grains. Remember those grains that I took, the mixed grains and the little zip bags. So. I'm cooking those four things today. So this morning, while the pan was dirty from the eggs that I cooked, while it, while it was dirty and while the stove was out, I did all my chicken. All the other three things will be done in the Instant Pot. So it will be, you know, it's sometime in the afternoon when I need a break from driving and I'll just pull over and, you know, I'm just, I'm generating some electricity right now because I got a little low because I haven't been traveling. The past couple of days I've been just hanging around that Christiansburg Virginia area, just being a, being a little citizen of that town for a little bit. <laughs> and um, so if I'm going to do pressure cooking, uh, like three batches, that's going to be, that's probably going to take maybe a little bit more than 30% of my st battery storage. So I need to really beef it up. So I'm going to do some driving and get that all beefed up so I can drain it again with all my uh, instant pot cooking. You have a great day and bye for now.